All right, so President Trump's coronavirus diagnosis has everyone talking. We are wishing him well uh, from Daily Boss Live. Well, a lot of celebrities have shared their thoughts on Twitter. Alyssa Milano wrote, as someone who has had COVID-19, I can honestly say that uh, with all that I am, that I wouldn't wish this virus on my worst enemy. Star Wars actor Mark Hamill hopes the president's followers reevaluate their opinions on the virus. He said, quote, if they will now accept a lockdown, social distancing and mandatory mask wearing, we could crush the virus like we should have from the start. And director Ava DuVernay wrote, I hope this changes the discourse around the, this virus among the people who follow him and don't give a damn and in turn, who damn the rest of us. People have lost their lives. Jeff, what do you make of some of the celeb reactions? First of all, I'm very disappointed in Mark Hamill that he didn't reference a Star Wars line in there. Like, may the force be with us. Come on. Yeah. You got it. I'm very disappointed. I in that. fully very agree with you. Mm -hmm. Jokes aside, um, you know, I talked earlier, Sam, about the divisiveness of social media and people online going back and forth at each other and taking this opportunity to laugh at the president or to say karma is this or karma is that. And, and it goes back to humanity. You know, you, the, the president is exactly what you think he is. It's your own personal decision. That's why we all vote. But I'm saying I'm choosing humanity in this situation, Sam, because I want to be an example, not for people online, but to my family. That's who I care about. I don't care about people online and what their agenda is. I want to show my son that no matter who this person is, you be the bigger man. You you be the bigger man. That's what I'm going to teach my kid growing up, not to point fingers on social media. Right. Let this be a Michelle Obama moment, right, Erica? You know, if they go low, let us go high. And maybe this can unify us. Maybe this can be something that everybody understands. Let's protect our fellow Americans and let's beat this thing. Yeah, I think that there is um, so, some duality of thought to be had here. As I said earlier, I am not going to um, rejoice in anyone's discomfort. I am not going to rejoice in anyone's ill faith. I um, just, that's just not, that's not in my nature, to be honest. However, I do think that our greatest lessons are often learned during our darkest days, and this is a very teachable moment. Um, the idea that masks have been ridiculed or discredited um, because this virus may not be real, like all of these ideas, we need to be very firm in the stance, and I think that great right now is a really great moment to be very firm in the stance that COVID-19 is very real. We are all susceptible. Masks are an excellent solution until we have an actual vaccine for this virus and let's all do our part. And if that's not what's coming out of this, then I think that we've really missed the moment and the opportunity to do so. In fact, Erica, uh, Cynthia just wrote in and said, exactly, Erica, may we follow your lead. So uh, there you have it.